Today we will learn about plants and leaves. <laughs> Come children. Now here is a very shy plant. It's called touch me not. Do you know why? <coughs> Don't be afraid children. It was an earthquake. But luckily, the tremor was slight. Teacher, will the earthquake happen again? Hmm, it may or may not, Meena. I will listen to the radio after school to find out if other places have been affected. Bear, Come with me, bear, children. Bear, Let's rescue the bear, poor goat. <laughs> Meena, I was at the shopkeepers and we listened to the radio. The earthquake has hit some places very badly. Some are closer to our village. I have come to take the children home. I think I will let all of you go home now. Grandma! 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 The earthquake came in our school today. It broke the goat shed. But we rescued the goat. <laughs> well... It came here as well. We are lucky it has not damaged our village. Many people in other places have become homeless. Oh, how terrible. Some people arrived last night. Their town has been affected by the earthquake. Their homes have been destroyed. Oh, it's so sad. It looks like they're staying in that government building close to the health center. We must go and find out if they need help. Our teacher and the health worker are already there. The volunteers are making separate sanitary latrines for the women and for the men. I am the health worker here. Our health center is close by for anyone who is sick or needs treatment. And I will also visit you regularly. There is also a hand pump in the compound. The water is safe for drinking. Hello? Grandma, why did the earthquake happen? Does it happen only when people are bad? No, no, Raju. It's a natural thing. It can happen from time to time. Father, do adults also get scared? Yes, Meena. Sometimes things happen for which no one is prepared. Even adults are scared and do not know what to do. But whatever happens, 
They love their children and try to take care of them and other children as far as possible. Father, will you be there if it comes again? Yes, Meena. Meena, I'll be there for you. For Lali. For Moon Moon. <laughs> And for you too, Mitu. <laughs> Listen everyone, we have some new children in class. They will attend school from today. What's your name? What's your name? Your new friends would like to know. We want to be your friends. We have to know your name. Neela. Oh, Neela. Children, let's listen to some stories. Our new friend Dil wants to share his story with us. When the earthquake came, the embankment of the river in our town cracked badly. We were sitting in a boat. The waves began higher and higher. I was sitting on one side and the boat shook so much. I did not understand what was happening. Suddenly, a big wave came and I fell into the river. Everyone began to scream and shout. I was so afraid, but I could swim. I kept swimming and swimming. Finally, my father got me out. Teacher, when the earthquake came, my father was in the shop and my mother wasn't home either. The water was coming. I was scared. I couldn't find my parents. I ran out on the street and kept running with other people. I got lost. People asked me who I was, where I lived. I told them the name of the street where we lived. And a kind woman brought me home. My parents were waiting for me. Teacher, why doesn't Neela play with anyone? She doesn't want to be my friend. Neela got separated from her parents when the earthquake came. She hasn't found them yet. She doesn't know the name of her village or any contact address. Dil's parents are keeping an eye on her now. Neela is very scared and lost. She has stopped talking. We have to be gentle with her and help her. I'll be her friend teacher. That's good, Meena. She needs friends now. Today's a school holiday. We can play all day. Look, Mitu, what a beautiful flower. Hello, Neela. I I want to be your friend. Hello. Neela, here you are. And you must be Meena. My son Dil is in your class. Auntie, please, can Neela come to my house? My mother and grandma will be very happy to meet her. Come, Neela. Let's go. Hey. 
Neela, you can always come to see us and play with Meena, Raju and Rani. And you can bring your book and draw. Grandma, Neela is very fond of drawing. Oh, <laughs> will you show me your drawings, my dear? My mama, my father, my sister, grandma, our house. The earthquake came, we all ran. The embankment cracked. There was water everywhere. I was so afraid. My doll. I couldn't find my parents. My sister. I lost them. Don't know where they went. As we were running out, I saw a big tree fall on my grandma. She is dead. Shh, child. We will always be here for you. Come and talk to us whenever you're sad. Talking can help you. Neela, Grandma has taught me how to make a doll. We'll make one together tomorrow, okay? <laughs> to find your parents I have to buy some marbles let's go to the shop Hello everyone. Hello Neela. I went to meet with your teacher and the village headman. They said they have contacted your parents and they are coming tomorrow to fetch you.
future lives Let's give girls a chance To find their dreams Think once again Of the God in our family Let girls go to school And learn new things To help their future Just like their brothers Girls need to learn 